do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos students in this video we will discuss question number 7 of neat physics paper 2016 so let us move to question number 7 Hello students let us move to question number 7 as you see from figure it is a capacitive circuit so question on capacitor is a switching of circuit switching of capacitor circuit now the question is a capacitor of 2 microfarad is charged also in figure so this is uh, how this is charged so in the first initial condition this is 8 microfarad this is 2 microfarad and this is a actually battery of potential v is supplied to this battery of voltage v is supplied and initially the second microfarad capacitor is in connection with the voltage or battery the 8 microfarad is not connected with the battery so this is actually out of this context there is no nothing going to happen in this capacitor now when the switch is uh, this is the switch s switch s is turned to position 2 so after that we will sometime t after a very very long time this is connected to 2 then there will be change in uh, charges that there will be change in the potential drop across the capacitors so what is asked is to find the percentage uh, of its stored energy dissipated is the loss of energy dissipated that is the loss of energy or the percentage of its stored energy dissipated is talking about what you have initially you have stored and finally what you have so you have to find the percentage change so we have to draw two diagrams separately and understand the question firstly if i have suppose this is a battery i connect this battery this is a position 1 and i connect this with the connector this is a capacitor of 2 micro farad and that is connected to the battery of voltage v this is the capacitance that is c1 say suppose we know that when a capacitor is connected to the battery of voltage v the potential drop across this capacitor will also become v after a very very long time in that situation the charge on this capacitor will be c1 v and here it is and here and here it is uh, minus c1 v because the charge because capacitance is q divided by potential difference across the plates of the capacitor so the charge will be seen to be capacitance of c1 voltage was v so c1 v or in a better way if i i want to write then it is uh, okay this will be c is 2 i consider c is 2 so it is 2v plus 2v and minus 2v obviously this charge will be in micro coulomb this is micro coulomb i am not talking about the unit now because micro farad so it will micro coulomb so this is positive and this is negative because i have to connect this is positive this is negative if i connect the reverse way that also is not going to affect the answer but this side is positive this side negative now in this situation what is the charge energy stored in the capacitor the energy stored in the capacitor is given by the formula half cv square 
If I use that for this situation, this is situation number one. So energy stored in the first case, that is initial case, it is half C1 V square, that is C1, and that C1 is uh, 2 microfarad, so I write 2 half C V square. V is V square, so it's coming out to V square, and obviously this will be the micro zone. Okay, so initially the energy I E I is this one. This is equation number one. Say now the situation is changing as you change the switch to second position, two capacitors will be connected and the battery will be out of the circuit. So we have this situation, just have a look here. This is a uh, two microfarad and this will be eight microfarad. Initially, it was, how much charge was there? It was C1V, that is 2V charge was there. So it is plus 2V here, minus 2V here, charges. And initially it was uh, 0, 0. Now, as soon as this is connected, the switch is turned to second position. This charge, this will act like a battery of variable uh, potential difference. Uh, it's uh, potential will change. It's, uh, uh, not like a battery provides a constant potential difference the charge starts flowing from here to here so more and more charge will get accumulated here and uh, this will continue till uh, the potential difference across because they are in parallel so potential difference is same suppose the potential difference is now v dash when the charge will stop flowing from one capacitor to the other. So when equal potential is achieved from here to here, then we know that this is 2 volt. And uh, if final with final voltage is V, then I can write definitely what about the final charges. B, B dash is the final voltage across these two, then final charges will be because we know that. Uh, the charge is equal to C to E. So C is here, 2 and V is now this one. So the charge here will be C V that is 2 into V dash. Obviously this one writing in uh, micro charges, micro coulombs. So 2 V dash and this will be minus 2 V dash. Here if this is V dash is the uh, Mm, potential final potential so it will be here eight times v dash because charge is capacitance value and its potential difference capacitance will be eight potential is this so it will be this obviously the unit is micro coulomb i'm not writing that here is plus uh, eight uh, volt and uh, minus eight volt okay now the thing is that Initially, this plate was having capa the charge of 2V microcoulomb. Now, this is distributed to each of the plates, say 2V dash and 8V dash. But we must know that this whole of this is isolated. So, the charge on these two plates will remain the same. Only there is a distribution of charges among themselves otherwise the total charge will remain same because in this situation the charge is not going to escape from anywhere so initially the charge was 2v and uh, finally after redistribution here it is 2v dash and here it is 8v dash then must be equal because charge will remain constant so from here 10v dash is 2v so v dash is 0 0.2 V point V. 
So the final potential is point to V. If I get the final potential, I can get the final charges of this here, or uh, I only need the potential difference across this. So V dash is this one. I will write the energy stored in final case. I write E final equals to half CV square energy stored there. And the first, first capacitor E final is half of uh, C1 V, v dash square and the second capacitor of 8 microfarad it is half C2. I call that capacitor C2 and V dash square. This is how the total energy is stored in both the capacitors. So this I call as half C1 plus C2 and V dash square. I write half of C1 C2 is 2 plus 8 that is 10. Obviously micro is there. I'm not uh, this is a farad micro is there. I'm not taking V dash square is uh, I'm getting 0 0.2 V the whole square. Because you can see here, V dash is 0 0.2 V, squaring both sides, it is like that. So this is 10. Obviously, this is in micro zul. I'm not writing that. This is 10. This is uh, obviously, this is uh, 5. And uh, this is uh, 0 0.2. So that is uh, 1 by 5, 1 by 25. V square, which is uh, 1 over 5 v square which is uh, which is uh, 2 0 0.2 v square okay 0 0.2 v square is the final energy in uh, combined uh, energy in both the capacitor so this is equation number two. Now I'll move, I'll write both these two equations. Initial energy I got EI as, uh, how much I got? I got as uh, V square microjoule. V square microjoule is the unit, equation one. And E final I'm getting here, 0 0.2 V square, that is also in microjoule, equation number two. After we got all these, you have to find the percentage uh, change in the energy store that is the lost. So percentage change in energy is given by E initial minus E final divided by E initial into 100. This is the formula. This is how we write that uh, the difference is uh, v square minus 0 0.2 v square. This is the difference divided by E initial is v square into 100. So the percentage change in energy equals to v square being common out because you can take v square common from up and down and cancel it. This is only 1 minus. 1 0 0.2 1 minus 0 0.2 into 100 so this is 0 0.8 into 100 which is 8 over 10 into 100 which is uh, 80 percent so what is the percent of change in the energy the capacitor as the capacitor is uh, switched through another capacitor which is completely uncharged and uh, that is a distributional charge and the answer coming out to be 80 percent if i see the options then option number one is the right answer to this question okay thank you